VOC bonding adhesive is a solvent-based adhesive that can be used with EPDM and TPO membranes. This adhesive is the most similar to our non-compliant adhesives in respect to application and codes or ratings. The only exception is that there are no FM ratings when using this adhesive with EPDM and Denstec Prime. This adhesive should be stored at a minimum of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Keeping the adhesive as warm as long as possible will result in a more user-friendly application. Although the solvents are VOC compliant, they have a strong odor, and precautions must be taken during installation, such as covering or shutting off intake vents. This adhesive must be thoroughly mixed prior to use. If it is not thoroughly mixed, the adhesive will not work as designed. After trying many different mixing paddles, I have found this one to work the best. It is available from any home improvement store and is usually found in the floor tile section with the mortar mixing paddles. The adhesive must be mixed on the day it will be used because the adhesive will begin to separate 24 hours after mixing. Here is a sample of adhesive that has been in stock for several months. This shows the most extreme case of separation of the adhesive. This is a sample of adhesive that was mixed three days ago. As you can see, the separation is a quick process. This is what you will typically see when you open a can of adhesive. When mixing of our adhesives is required, the pail lid must be removed. In an effort to help facilitate this process, we are introducing the locking ring lid. This accessory allows contractors to replace the factory lid with the locking ring lid in a fast and easy manner. And when it's used with a mechanical roller spreader, there's no worry of the pail lid leaking. The locking ring lid is meant for rooftop use only and adhesives cannot be transported using these lids. For EPDM and TPO membranes, low VOC bonding adhesive is applied as a contact adhesive where both the substrate and membrane are coated. This adhesive has a coverage rate of 60 square feet per gallon and is typically installed using a nine inch roller. This application demonstrates what 60 square feet per gallon looks like. When used as a contact adhesive, the drying time will vary based on ambient conditions. The adhesive must be checked to ensure it is flash off properly before installing the membrane. This is accomplished by touching the adhesive in several areas with a clean, dry finger, and the adhesive should not transfer to your finger. Also, be sure that the adhesive is not overdried and remains tacky, but not wet when mating the membrane to the substrate. If the adhesive overdries, apply more bonding adhesive over the affected area and conduct the touch test until it is ready. After the membrane is installed, the membrane must be broomed in place with a stiff bristle broom to ensure proper contact between the membrane and substrate.